Well, that's a big subject, of course. And I mean, I don't like the word catastrophe. I don't think there's any catastrophe there. But certainly the climate is changing and that's important. It's always been changing. We've, we've ne there's never been a time when the climate stayed put for any length of time. And, and uh, so I'm, I would say the, uh, all the evidence we have is that we're having some effect on the climate. It's not clear whether it's good or bad. It's not clear whether it's going to become a catastrophe or not. And uh, so f as far as I'm concerned, it's very foolish to do anything s spectacular to, to what we should be doing is dealing with the problems in detail. I mean, the first thing is we should build dikes ar around New Orleans. And I mean, there's, there are simple practical things we can do which really would help. And uh, like building dikes around s s cities which are exposed to hurricanes or tsunamis. And, and uh, so th these kind of practical measures could be enormously helpful. I mean, we've seen just in the last f few months, we've seen t two big earthquakes, one in Haiti and one in Chile. And what we've seen is that the earthquake in Chile was much larger, but the damage actually was smaller. The reason being that Chileans had taken more trouble to build buildings that would resist earthquakes. And so you can act, it actually helps enormously to strengthen your buildings. Of course, the, I mean, Chile has the advantage of being a, a richer country to start with, but it's a dr dr dramatic proof of what you can do. You can actually take a natural catastrophe and reduce the damage by a factor of 100 or so just by quite simple measures, just having good building codes. And the same is true of climate, that uh, there are all sorts of things we can do in a practical way. It's not only we don't ha only have to worry about warming, we also have to worry about cooling, and it could very well be the climate gets colder. Nobody knows. And there are many things we should be doing to prepare for that, and, and uh, which are not all that expensive. But what I think is absurd, what, what I disagree with very strongly, is the idea that climate is predictable, that we can t t do things a hundred years in advance knowing what's going to happen. That's just not, that's just not the way it is.